This is how I would learn cloud security as a complete beginner in 2025. So you may or may not already know this, but cloud security is one of the biggest growing areas in cybersecurity, especially as more and more companies transition into cloud infrastructure and more applications are hosted on the cloud than ever. This means there's going to be even more of a need to keep applications, users, and data within a cloud environment secure from vulnerabilities, potential threats, and threat actors. And that is another reason why I personally believe that cloud security is going to be one of the big niche areas that are going to be growing in the next five to 10 years. So yes, this is one of the best times to start your career in cloud. And in this video, I'll be going over the entire roadmap for you to follow in six steps. Step number one, learn the basics of cloud computing with free training. So the three biggest cloud providers out there, Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud Platform, all have free training. So I would highly recommend taking advantage of this if you're a beginner. Nowadays, there's so much free content out there, as well as even free cloud credits that you can use to create your own cloud environments that you can spin up and configure on your own without ever having to pay a fee, especially if you're a student, especially if you're a beginner. So I would highly recommend going that route to get your hands on training, as well as of course, learning the basics of cloud infrastructure and the similarities and differences between the three big cloud providers. Personally, if you're just starting out, it is typically recommended to start with at least one of the platforms so that you can get familiar with their technologies, their tools, as well as different naming frameworks that they have, because it also helps if you're a little bit specialized for when you're applying to future jobs that may be specifically an AWS shop, an Azure shop, or the specific cloud provider that they're using. So the key here is to learn as much general knowledge about cloud infrastructure and the technology behind it, while also specializing a little bit in at least one specific cloud platform so that you have some extra expertise or SME knowledge. I'll also link the free cloud trainings from the different cloud providers. This is a really important first step. All right, step number two, learn cybersecurity foundations. There's a lot of ways of doing this nowadays. Again, a lot of material out there is free, but there are also different courses, different trainings that you can take. Personally, what I would recommend if you're looking for free resources is to actually start with the CompTIA Security Plus curriculum. Now, you don't have to necessarily take the exam and, and pay the exam fee, but Professor Messer has a complete CompTIA Security Plus training course and it is completely free on his website as well as on his YouTube channel. It covers over 600 cybersecurity topics that are most commonly required for an entry-level cybersecurity job for a security analyst. So I would highly recommend going through that list because it covers foundational topics like encryption, identity access management, or IAM, network security, MFA, networking, threats and vulnerabilities, and a lot more. Think of this as the beginner crash course into cybersecurity. So the first step was learning cloud foundations. The second step is learning cybersecurity foundations. And we're basically going to take this together and these are basically going to be your two starting posts for eventually the cloud security projects that you'll be working on which we'll also be covering in this video. I also have a lot of videos on beginner cybersecurity training. The Google cybersecurity cert is another great general cert. If you want to lean a little bit to red team or blue team then for blue team let's defend is a great resource. For red team hack the box or try hack me are also great resources. So there's a lot of platforms out there where you can get hands-on training even without having cybersecurity work experience. So definitely take advantage of it. I'll also link a few other cybersecurity learning resources and courses I personally recommend linked in my description as well. I would personally spend up to two weeks completing at least one of their cloud training paths so you understand the basics of cloud. This is going to take you up to three weeks just to go over the entire course. But of course, as with anything, cybersecurity and cloud are both sectors that require continuous learning. So it's not just a one and done, you learn the basics and you move on. You're always going to be learning new things. You're always going to be keeping up with cybersecurity news, different trends, the different threat actors, the vulnerabilities that they're exploiting. So on top of this, I would also recommend creating your own cybersecurity news feed. This is something that I've had since I was just in my first year working in cybersecurity, I use a tool called Feedly and, and basically you can combine all the RSS feeds of different cybersecurity news outlets that you're interested in and have them all in one app or one platform so you can read them basically scroll through as if they were your personally curated news feed specifically for cybersecurity. Feedly is a free app on the app store so I would highly recommend checking that one out and just spending 10 to 15 minutes a day scrolling through different cybersecurity news outlets, reading the headlines, understanding what attackers are doing, understanding how AI is potentially impacting the threat landscape and this could also give you ideas as to what to learn next, what cybersecurity or cloud topic to dig into as part of your learning journey. Now, on top of actually learning cloud security foundations, something else you need to get familiar with are the different cybersecurity tools that companies actually use to stay secure on the cloud, specifically Veronis. Veronis is a data security platform with a data-centric approach to cloud security. And a big thank you to Veronis for sponsoring this portion of the video. Their unified data security platform offers mission-critical capabilities that seamlessly work together and is the only data security solution that finds your data, fixes it, and alerts you of any issues automatically. 
So I know this sounds like a lot of buzzwords, but what does this mean for a complete beginner? So think of it this way. Back then, companies stored their data on their own data centers, but running your own data centers costs a lot of money and takes a lot of upkeep and is not very scalable. So instead, the alternative is hosting your data in a cloud environment. This is cheaper, much faster, and much more scalable, and a lot of times much more secure since cloud providers have to go through vigorous security audits to make sure that their environments are locked down and typically have a lot more security controls in place compared to the typical brick and mortar data center. However, of course, companies still want visibility into the data, their applications, and that is where Veronis comes in. They basically will keep track of all your data, any data, 24-7, 365, which makes sure that all your data is protected with minimal human effort on your end, so there's no busy work for the cybersecurity team, while businesses are deploying Gen AI, adopting cloud infrastructure, and of course, preventing cyber breaches. There are security tools and platforms out there for securing endpoints, for securing networks, and Veronis is specifically for securing your data. It's quick to onboard and deploy, and helps reduce reporting time, which eventually when you start working in cybersecurity, you will know that this usually takes a very long time. So any tool that makes your life easier in that aspect is a huge win for the team. Veronis also covers all the big cloud providers in addition to other SaaS and IaaS providers, which means no matter what cloud platform you're interested in focusing on, learning about Veronis, how they work, and how they protect data in the cloud is going to benefit you as someone who is starting out in cloud security to also understand how to better protect data in the cloud. Right now, you can get a free data risk assessment from Veronis through the link in my description, as well as full access to the Veronis SaaS platform and a dedicated incident response analyst. And I also want to mention that Veronis has free cybersecurity courses and training directly on their platform that I'll link in my description as well. I think this is going to be really helpful for anyone who is starting out in cloud security and cybersecurity as they cover topics like PowerShell, Active Directory, cyber incident response, and a lot more. All right, step number four, get hands-on setting up your own cloud learning environment. So there are plenty of guides out there that you can use to create your own cloud learning lab. I would personally also use AI to your advantage. This is not something that I had when I was starting out in my career. So if you have the tools at hand, I would highly recommend taking advantage of them and asking a tool like ChatGPT or Gemini to help you create a walkthrough guide for setting up your own cloud environment. I also want to mention that a lot of the big cloud providers will provide you free credits to be able to spin up your own environment to get some hands-on training. And I'll also link a tutorial that I personally recommend linked in my description below as well so you can follow along but this is basically going to be where you're going to be working on all of your cybersecurity and cloud projects in the future, as well as, of course, getting familiar with the specific tools, like I mentioned in step number one. For example, you may have learned about Azure Active Directory, Azure DevOps, Cosmos DB, but now this is actually where you can put that textbook knowledge into play through your own cybersecurity projects, and you're also then going to be adding these onto your resume, onto your project portfolio to help buff up your resume with more relevant projects and technical experience and skills for when you start applying to cybersecurity and cloud security jobs. So this is basically the formula. So with that, step number five is to start working on your own cybersecurity projects. The first one I'm going to recommend is setting up your own identity access management tool using AWS. This tool is called Cloud Explaining, and it's an AWS IAM security assessment tool that identifies violations of least privilege and generates a risk prioritized report. You can also find a really great list of different cybersecurity projects and tools out there that you can use through GitHub. And it's a great way to get an understanding of what you can do using cloud infrastructure, as well as of course getting some hands-on skills under your belt to be able to talk about in future interviews. Your goal right now is to just become a very well-rounded cloud security learner so that when a future interviewer asks you a question about identity access management in the cloud, you can of course give them the textbook answer, but you can also talk about any project that you've worked on, which can include this one, or you can share your experience scanning an IAM policy and checking for compliance against that policy. So there's a lot of really cool ways to get experience even without actually working in any cybersecurity role. Project number two is to scan in your cloud environment for a security audit. Scout Suite is an open source multi-cloud security audit auditing tool that can provide you a security posture assessment of your cloud environment. It uses the APIs exposed by the cloud providers and gathers configuration data for manual inspection and highlights key risk areas, specifically designed by security auditors so they know exactly what they want to look for in a cloud environment scan. It works on AWS, Google Cloud Platform, Azure, and other cloud providers, so I'd highly recommend checking this out. They have a full guide using their command line tool, and of course, I'll link all the project guides in my description as always, and it's open source, so it is free to use like many of these tools are. So there's really nothing blocking you from learning as much as you can in these niches. But project number three, I'm going to challenge you to use Gen AI and help you create a project guide that is actually relevant to what you're interested in. If there's a specific niche in cloud security, or if you want to use a specific tool in whichever cloud provider they are using, I would take this 
it's time to get a bit creative with setting up a project plan from scratch and just getting your hands dirty using some technical tools. Project work can take a long time, so maybe spending about one week on each project so that you can dive deeper into the different tools that you're using. And now finally, we are on step number six, the last step on this list, and that is to create your technical project portfolio and of course, updating your resume. I personally use a tool called Massive. It's kind of like an all-in-one platform where they'll help you refresh and write your resume based on your previous experience, but also based on the job that you're going for. For example, if you're interested in cloud engineering, they'll also help you apply to jobs and their AI agent will customize your resume for every job application that it sends out for you. Personally, I highly recommend this tool if you're looking for an all-in-one platform. They basically send out 200 jobs for you on a monthly basis based on the skills on your resume, as well as the job title that you're actually interested in. And it comes out to about a few cents per job application that they send out. So it is highly worth it, especially with the time that you're saving. But of course, there are also free alternatives. I would first outline all your projects onto your resume using strong action words, as well as the key skills and tools that you've actually used in your projects. Then upload your resume onto an ATS checker, which will check to make sure that your resume passes for different AI screenings and automations that a company may be using in their ATS system so that you can at least get your resume in front of a real recruiter to get looked at. This is also where I want to mention to make sure that the skills that you're learning are relevant to the jobs that you're interested in. Another great way to do this is by basically reverse engineering the job search process. First, look at a job description for a cloud engineer or a cloud security analyst and see the skills that are listed across different employers. And I would pick the top three to five skills that overlap on those lists and then pick those to start learning and going for different technical projects so that you have exactly what those companies are looking for on your resume when you start applying to that same title or role. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful and gave you an outline roadmap into how to get started in learning cloud security from zero to actually starting to apply to jobs using the technical skills and hands-on experience that you get through the technical projects we cover in this video. Don't forget to also check out Veronis and get a free cloud data risk assessment through the link in my description. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. Don't forget to also stay connected on Discord and LinkedIn. I usually post on there daily, so I would love to connect with you on there. Thank you again so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!